Hi YouTube, I'm Crystal of CrystalSellsAndStuff.com. Welcome to the channel. And I want to give a warm welcome to all of my new subscribers. I'm so glad you decided to join me. And also I want to welcome back all of you have been who have been following me for a while. So now I want to go ahead and share with you my review of the Citrus Dress by Move Fabrics. So if you didn't know, Move Fabrics has a ton of free sewing patterns on their website for you to check out. I mean, they have coats, jackets, shirts, pants. They have just about any kind of, they even have like a bralette pattern. They have so many free patterns for you to check out on their website. So they all are PDF patterns, so you do have to print them out and tape them together. Um, they don't come in AO size or, you know, copy copy shop size at all but they are free so anyway so go ahead and get go ahead and check those out if you're interested in free sewing patterns so let me get on with the the review so i decided to sew up the citrus dress this october because it is the sew your view challenge um pattern pick for october so if you didn't know that no the sew your view challenge is an instagram challenge put on by that Monica of that's so Monica on Instagram she also has a YouTube channel here as well as a really nice blog and I'll leave a link to her Instagram handle below for you to check her out and anyway this has been she's been doing this challenge for a couple of years now and I love participating in the challenge I love the community aspect of a lot of people sewing the same uh, pattern together and getting to see everyone's take on it so anyway, I decided to go ahead and participate this month. And um, if you haven't seen, I'll, I'll leave a link to my uh, playlist of all the other Sew Your View um, posts that I have here on YouTube for you to check out. But anyway, let me go ahead and tell you about the pattern. So this is a really um, cute pattern. It is a knit pattern designed for knit fabrics. And it comes in sizes 0 to 30 and the way mood uh, does it they the sizes come in 0 to 2 to, um, 0 to 2 4 to 6 8 to 10 and so all the way up to 28 to 30 so the sizing is for a bus size measurement of 32 all the way up let me check my notes to uh, 58 and a half inches and the hips go from a uh, 34 I believe yes a 34 up to 60 inches so they have a really large size range for their patterns and I've noticed that this with all of their patterns that I've sewn well this is my third one so um, so the patterns I've sewn I've noticed they do have a really great size range for all of their free patterns so anyway I think you should go ahead and check them out so now let me get on to the review so there aren't a lot of pattern pieces to this pattern there's just the front the back the front is cut on the fold the back is cut down the middle and then you have a neckband piece and sleeve pieces as well as a button band piece so the pattern is designed to have um, about eight or nine uh, 22 inch bus buttons um, going down the left side but I omitted the buttons and just did a contrast uh, stripe instead in a uh, faux leather so the fabric that I chose is this beautiful, like, it's a Ponte knit that I picked up from Chic Fabrics um, a couple years ago. And I used this faux leather that I had left over from my Pattern Preacher Eloise jacket as well as the BB skirt. And I'll leave a link to my review of the Eloise jacket as well as the BB skirt in the description box and in the cards as well if I can. So... Check that out, but I'm, I'm totally made good use of this fabric. I've gotten three things out of this fabric, so I'm glad I picked that up. So, um, anyway, those are the fabrics that I use, and I also added a little faux leather band on the bottom of the sleeves, and I really like how that brings out the, um, the sleeves a lot. So, anyway, this, that's what I did to make. Those are the big changes that I made, alterations to the pattern. So... Um, as far as styling the design and then I had to make a couple of pattern changes to the actual to get the fit that I want so I decided to sew up a size 
four to six for the bus area because it's for a um, bus size of 34 and a half and my upper bus is 34 and um, since it's a knit pattern um, I went on ahead and did the size four to six and I measured the pattern pieces because one of the patterns that I made last last year was the Nazarene pants from Move Fabrics and they came out so so big and I had to keep taking them into taking them in and taking them in so this time I said I'm measuring the pieces I'm not going to play around so I went on ahead and measured all the pattern pieces and so the sizing for this dress since it's a knit fit me for the bust of a size of four to six and then hips waist and hips of size um eight to ten so that's what I decided to sew up just to be on the safe side I didn't want it to be too big so I'm glad I'm happy with the sizing of it some of so for pattern changes, what I did was I raised up the waistline by 5 8 inches. There wasn't a shortening and lengthen line. I just figured out where I just raised it right above where the waist comes in. So, And I'll show you a clip of that in a minute. So I raised the waistline by 5 8 inches. And then I also had to really scoop out the neckband a lot. Because after I sewed it up... This neckband was so tight, I could not get it over my head. It was just like, and I have a little picture that I took and posted on Instagram, but I could not get it over my head. And I, I cut out five eighths around. I used my Stitch Buzz ruler to go ahead and measure out five eighths, and that was still still too small. And so I had to do that again. So I totally, I took out another extra inch and a quarter from the front and the back at the neckline in order to be able to get it over my head. And then I also had to lengthen the neckband in order to make it um, fit the new cutout, the white neckline. So those are the changes that I made as far as um, for fitting purposes. So I would say if you make this pattern, make sure you double check the neckline. You might wanna go up a size or two in the neckline. For the pattern because it just it was just way way too small for me um but overall i'm happy with how everything turned out and i'm gonna go ahead and post in some clips of me sewing up the pattern including um how i sewed on this uh the front band as well as the cuffs and then a little bit on how i went on ahead and scooped out this neckline in order to make it fit me so here's the clip. So I wanted to show you um, how I went on ahead and made some quick pattern changes to the pattern. So the waistline is a little bit long for me, so I'm wanting to adjust it by 5 8 inch. So what I did was I just drew a line just above where the waistline is. There's no lengthen and shorten line on this pattern. So um, I decided to shorten it here because that's where um, it's too long for me between the bust line and the waistline. And you can tell where the waistline is because it curves in here because your waistline is the smallest part and that's where your waist is. And then you can tell where the hip line is by the widest part going out that way. And so what I did was I added a line. I lined it up here on my mat and then I used my ruler, and this is the Luna Graphics ruler, and I decided to take out 5 eighths inch. So what I did was just drew a line on both sides, and then I cut it down, and then matched them back up according to the grain line. So this is the grain line here. And then you just match it back up according to the lines. Now it's going to be off now because you took some length out. And so in order to get your get it to be a smooth line again, you take your curve ruler. This is the Stitch Buzz ruler. And you kind of try to match the curve. It's a little bit different. And so you just go ahead and match the curve and draw a new curve line so it can be nice and smoothed out and then you just cut along here to make that line nice and smooth and that's how you go ahead and adjust the pattern 
um, to shorten it. Okay, another good use for these rulers is to mark your seam allowance. So you will want to mark your seam allowance just so you can get an idea of how the pattern is going to fit you using um, the um, fit for real people pattern tissue tissue fitting method. So what you do, see this the seam allowance for this pattern is a half inch and this is a 5 8 inch ruler. She also has them in half inch sizes but I don't have that but all you have to do is just subtract a quarter inch because each square is a quarter inch and so what you do is you line it up right here and you just don't you know one back from the corner so a quarter inch back and that way you have a half inch so you can mark your seam allowances like that so if you want to just get an idea of the length of the pattern you can mark your seam allowance on front and back and then pin this Pin, the side, pin it together so you can see how long it's going to be on you. And that's what I do. So, anyway, I just wanted to show you real quick because I had a couple questions about these rulers and what I use them for. And the main things I use them for is to grade between sizes and for marking my seam allowance. So, what I'm doing is, so these are the marking lines that they have for the um, button placket. And so what I did was I just went on ahead and put the pattern piece over the fabric like this. And I just added some pins at the top and then all over at the bottom as well. So I added pins on both ends. And what I'm going to do is just take that off and then I'm going to use a ruler. Now this is a quilting ruler. And I'm going to line it up with my other ruler because I don't have a ruler that goes the whole way down. So I have this ruler and then I have my other ruler that I'm going to also use. And I'm just going to draw a straight line from pin to pin so that way I can have it on the fabric and make sure everything is lined up. Before the strip i'm going to go ahead and make sure i measure out the half inch going down because you have to um fold it in under by half an inch so mark that down too okay so after i mark the where the half inch line is according to the pattern i'm going to go ahead and fold it over and i'm going to use wonder tape to help it lay flat and Wonder Tape is a good, I forgot to put it in my last sewing tools video, but Wonder Tape is a good um, little handy tool that you can use for a lot of things like um, putting in invisible zippers and other things. But it's great for holding down seams, thick seams. So you just take a, take a piece of this Wonder Tape and you put it in your seam like that. And you don't have to use it for every little bit. You can just you know space it out okay so you put it on there and then you go all the way down and then you just fold it over and press down and it washes out when you wash your fabric and this would be good just to get all the seams get everything to lay flat and make sure you have it even the way you want it okay so the next thing I'm gonna do is go ahead and sew this down and I have it um right on the edge i'm using my edge stitch foot but if you have a blind hem foot you can use that as well and it has this little um line in the middle um and anyway i'm just gonna edge stitch that down with a straight stitch was I just took the sleeve and put it on my fabric making sure the stretch was all in the right direction and then I just use my two inch ruler right here and I trace a line out using um, my charcoal marker the clover one and then I just made a rectangle so I'm just gonna attach this rectangle to the bottom of the sleeve to make a band to match the front of the dress okay so for the bands what I'm gonna do is I'm taking the, the little band that I made the two inch band and then I'm gonna fold it wrong sides together and match up the all of the ends all the cut ends together 
So that's just how it looks right there. So easy. And then I'm just going to sew this down at a half inch. And then it's going to come out like, like that. The ant line was entirely too small. So I cut it down one time at 5 eighths and it's still a little too small. So I'm going to do it one more time at 5 eighths. So I'm going to just repeat what I did before, which is to just take my um, my curve ruler, the stitch buzz ruler, and then I'm going to trace around the neckline right here at 5 eighths to the center point. And then fold it this way, match up and match up the um, seams like that against the sub, and then I'm gonna continue around this way, keep the curve the same. In it like that, so I won't move I'm gonna cut off where I marked it. Okay, so open the neckline up some more, so hopefully that'll be enough for it to fit on my head. <laughs> Okay, so those are all the changes that I made to the citrus dress. And so here are some pics and twirls of me wearing it outside on the deck. dress by move fabrics i want to thank you all for tuning in today and watching the video and if you haven't subscribed to the channel be sure to go ahead and hit the subscribe button and hit the bell notification so you won't miss any of my future videos thank you so much for watching again take care and have a great day bye